hi this is how to wrap um bullhorn handlebars i'm using deda or dida tape um and i'm also using some electrical tape and scissors so i'm starting off with this tape's got sticky back plastic on it so you don't have to worry about any stickiness and i'm starting off i'm going to wrap anti-clockwise starting off at the back and then sticking like this and then I'm going to start wrapping around do one wrap just so it's all one level and then I'm going to start to angle it to wrap around the rest and the whole time I'm doing it I'm pulling quite tight And I'm wrapping, it's, this, this tape is half kind of perforated and half not, and I'm kind of trying to wrap up to the perforated line. Coming up to the it's a little bit of a corner here, so I'm just wrapping tighter, kind of on the inside of the corner and leaving a little bit more space on the outside just to make sure that that curve is nicely covered. So there'll be more overlap on the inside there. I am pulling quite hard on the tape to make sure it stays taut. And as I'm coming around to the flat, I can kind of even out the wrap again. And the reason I'm wrapping from the inside out is after watching lots of other YouTube videos, People suggested this as when you're riding, your hands are more likely to tip outwards. Um, the reason I chose this tape was because it was cheap. Um, I bought it online, so I didn't really know what I was getting, but the review said it had a nice suede finish, which I thought would be comfortable. Coming up to another corner now, so I'm going to use that same technique again. So overlapping more on the inside than the outside. As I get to the end, I'm going to cut some of this backing of the sticky tape because it's driving me crazy. And then you kind of need to decide how far you're going to go in. You can see on this side I've gone quite close to the brake lever. I just wanted to make sure because I hold on the top a lot that I've got enough space for my hand. And then, so now I've got to here, 
I want to cut the tape so it's a nice neat line so you get this kind of neat line so what I've done is come to here and then I'm going to trim I'm going to trim to about here and then the way that I saw online to do it was to cut at an angle across like this so that when you wrap it round you'll get that neat line and you won't get any overlap. You have to kind of be wrapping at quite an angle to get that. Just using normal scissors. So hopefully this will work. Ooh. Okay, so I've wrapped to there. Now I'm going to take some electrical tape um, just boring black and I'm going to wrap that from the bottom so I don't have to look at it so it's a nice neat line and I think the point of this really is to just secure that last bit make sure it doesn't move anywhere And then cut again so that it ends on the bottom so you don't have to look at it. So there you go, that's the wrap. It's quite neat and it's quite easy and it feels really nice and firm like it's not going to go anywhere. The last thing to do is to finish off the end. Now this um, this came with ends. It also came with these bits of tape, which I guess is to put where I put the electrical tape, but I just prefer to have just black. So to do this, you just tuck in the ends here, and you just use this cap to secure it all in place. 